Hey guys, it is Luke from DLM here, and this isn't a Terraria video, weirdly enough. I'm actually going to be showing you how to resize sprites, or increase the size of sprites for any game. Now, this is really useful for any uh, YouTube thumbnails you're making, any memes, I don't know, whatever you want to use these sprites for. For years, I was stuck with the issue of kind of downloading a sprite like this, saving it, pulling it into Photoshop, oops, that's Premiere, Pick, sneak peek for my next video and you're stuck with this which looks fine but then when you resume it which of course you have to do this happens and you could do a few things maybe like um sharpen it or put a board around it but it just always look garbage so what i'm going to do is show you how to fix that and it's super super easy and they found this out like 48 hours ago that's why i'm making a video on it because i feel like a lot of people don't know so what you do is you, you download it so it's it's downloaded and then you go to this website, which is just the pixel art scale you can search up. And I've got this in the description of the video. Drag this in here. It enlarges it. You can choose whatever size you want. I just keep it around two to 3,000 normally. Redownload it. And drag it back in. And now you can see it is actually sprite perfect. It looks much, much nicer. It really gives it a much nicer sheen. I want to keep this video short, so that's all I'm going to say. Of course, it works with any image that is pixelated or any pixel image so that's really all i have to say I'm trying to be as fast as possible thanks for watching leave a like and subscribe if you like terraria because i do make a few terraria videos see you next time guys all right this is like an unofficial part two after the outro because i forgot to talk about it if you are doing what i do in my thumbnails and you want to put a drop shadow and an outer stroke on it you'll see that there's a bit of an issue like this there's a really quick fix for that you need to pull these in as far as you can without losing any information there might be a better way to do this but this works fine for me Pull both these in as far as you can without losing any information. Then make a new layer. Merge the two layers like so. Then add the stroke and the drop shadow. I don't know why this works, but it does. So, you know, that's it. Part two of the video done.